Shibuya with its famous crossing is perhaps the most widely recognized Tokyo landmark, having become a ubiquitous feature of global news reports and YouTube videos. But few people realize that just a few minutes walk from here is a hidden a luxury residential area that is home to famous celebrities, wealthy entrepreneurs, and former politicians. Imagine stepping out of Times Square and finding yourself in Beverly Hills, which is the nickname given to the area known as Shoto. In this exclusive area of the Shibuya Ward, around 36 square feet, or 6 feet by 6 feet of prime real estate, will cost you around 5.33 million yen, which at current exchange rates is around $42,000. Like other high-end areas, such as Denyenchofu and Seijo, local planning rules set a minimum plot size that helps to keep out ambitious wannabes. The minimum site area is around 2,153 square feet, or 46 feet by 47 feet, which is approximately the size of a single tennis court. That may sound quite modest, compared to the footprint of luxury homes around the world, until you compare it to the average size of a house in Tokyo, which at just 700 square feet, is less than one-third the size of the mandatory Shoto footprint. But once you've acquired a rare vacant plot, the locals aren't going to take you seriously, unless you hire a celebrity architect to help build your inconspicuous show home. And this is where another of the area's preservation orders comes into play. Planning rules define Shoto as a Category 1, low-rise residential area. There are no shops or office buildings within its boundaries. Although high-rise, residential blocks do form a kind of screening wall around the area. According to real estate company calculations, Elsewhere, 2,153 square feet is the plot size for a family of seven to live comfortably. But how did this small, inner city area become so prestigious? As some of you may know, Tokyo became the capital of Japan in the Edo period, 1603 to 1868. Prior to that, the political and economic centers were Kyoto and Osaka respectively. When Tokugawa Ieyasu seized the established position of military dictator, he decided to establish the new shogunate in Edo, now Tokyo, which was the center of his own territory. However the area was marshy, often flooded, making it unsuitable for farming and consequently, the local population wasn't large. The shogunate invested huge sums of public money and manpower, transforming the area. The extensive construction work lasted for decades, including earthworks to change the flow of three major rivers that frequently flooded, as well as extensive waterworks, irrigation canals and channels, not to mention roads. As a result, Tokyo's population grew rapidly, and it became not only the seat of government, but a thriving commercial center. The Kishu Tokugawa family, one of three branches of Tokugawa family, had their second house in Shoto. It is hard to imagine today, but in the beginning of Edo period, the Shibuya area, including Shoto, was largely undeveloped and rich in nature. The Tokugawa clan stayed in Shoto to enjoy falconry, the sport of warriors and kings in many parts of the world, including the contemporary Middle East. After the Meiji restoration of the emperor, the Tokugawa family sold their land to the Nebeshima family, former lords of the Saga clan, in 1867. The eleventh and last lord of the Saga clan Nebeshima no Hiro was the type of person who was keen to engage with new things. 
he was enthusiastic about business and followed the government policy of encouraging new industries. For example, he introduced Erita at the Paris Expo in 1867, a particular kind of porcelain that Europeans came to believe was typical of Japanese ceramics. But the Nebeshima family also lent their name to an especially fine type of porcelain ware. The Saga clan had formerly controlled Erita and Yimuri in Hizen, which are in the present-day prefectures of Saga and Nagasaki. These were the leading areas for porcelain production in those days. The present-day Shoto Museum of Art and Taguri Museum of Art reflect this historic association. After the birth of the new Meiji government, Naohiro became a member of the Kazoku, or new nobility, a privileged class officially recognized by the government. They were given titles, education and privileges, but were also expected to be role models for society and to serve their country. Naohiro went to the USA in 1871 and the UK in 1873 as a member of Yiwakura Mission, a Japanese diplomatic venture. He was worried about how to deal with unemployed samurai, who'd been made redundant by modernization. When studying at Oxford University, he had the opportunity to learn how to manage a tea plantation. Soon after, he decided to open a Japanese tea plantation farm in the Shoto area and put his newfound knowledge to work. The tea produced in his tea plantation was named Shoto and became a premium product for the citizens of Tokyo throughout the Meiji era. Shoto is made up of the Chinese characters for pine and wave. It evokes the idea that the sound of the wind among pine trees is similar to ocean waves crashing onto the shore. Naohiro felt this was also an elegant way to evoke the sound of a tea kettle. Shibuya Station opened in 1885 and the Tokaido Line opened in 1900 following the route of the old toll road to Kyoto and beyond. This led to a rapid and substantial increase in the influx of products from Shizuoka and other regional tea-producing regions. Recognizing the impact on his business, Naohiro switched to farm management, diving his holdings between a family-run ranch with an orchard and a livestock breeding center run by the Ministry of Agriculture. But after the Great Kanto Earthquake of 1923, Naohiro's successor, Naomitsu, a Cambridge University graduate, invited disaster victims and prominent foreigners to settle on their farmland where he built a church. Lots were sold only to those who had suitable letters of introduction. Hence, only those with high social status, such as government officials and company executives, could settle in Shoto. This is the origin of the area's status as a high-class, very exclusive enclave. Azaburo Uyeno, who was a professor at Tokyo Imperial University, was one of area's new residents. When he died suddenly, his dog, Hachi, waited patiently outside Shibuya Station for him to return, every day for nine years. The bronze Hachiko statue, just outside present-day Shibuya Station, celebrates his loyalty and has become the most popular meeting place in the area. Around the same time, Naomitsu opened the area around a spring-fed pond in his own garden to the public as a children's park. This is now known as Nebeshima Shoto Park. The park has a water wheel in the pond and in spring, cherry trees bloom beautifully. It is loved by children, as well as adults. We should also mention that the award-winning park toilets were recently redesigned by the world-famous architect, Kengo Kumar, who was responsible for the 2020 Olympic Stadium. 
when the subdivided, former Nebeshima estate, was reunited into a single, residential area. It was decided that Shoto, a reference to the former tea garden, was the most appropriate name. After the Second World War, Shibuya grew into a terminal station for a growing number of overground and underground rail lines, subsequently becoming one of the busiest areas of Tokyo, with a very high concentration of commercial buildings. Within a few meters of Shibuya's dense crowds, bright lights, and video billboards, stepping into Shoto somehow manages to feel like entering a quiet, sleepy English village, near Oxford or Cambridge. What kind of people currently live in the Shoto area? The number of residents continues to rise every year due to the increase in low-rise apartment buildings, and currently stands at 3,084. As there are many embassies and international corporate residences, just under 10% of Shoto's current population are foreigners. When looking at residents by age, about 11% are under 15, 60% are aged 15 to 64, and 30% are over 64, and 15% of residents have children under the age of 18, which is much higher than the average in the ward. Interestingly, 60% of residents own their house home, and the proportion of detached houses is 21% which is again, much higher than the average in the ward. Of the 3,084 people living in Shoto, 1,094 adults have been employed. What kind of occupations do they have? A large percentage of them seem to have been employed in academic research. In fact, Tokyo University, the Oxford on Japan, has a campus immediately to the west of Shoto. Other key common occupations are listed as technical services, information and communication, and real estate. Many people in these occupations are also found in other affluent areas. What is notable in Shoto, however, is the number of people with executive titles. The proportion of residents listed as board members is 28.8%, which is much higher than the Shibuya ward average at 11.9%. There is nowhere else in Tokyo where one in four residents are company executives. Not surprisingly perhaps, Residents in the Shoto area are especially keen to protect their privacy. It is common to see houses with fortress-like high walls, or bunker-style designs with no proper windows on the street side. Of course, multiple security cameras are installed around most houses. Due to the number of embassies and homes of former politicians, the police presence is well above average and emergency calls are answered with remarkable promptness. According to elderly residents of the area, some of whom have lived here continuously for over 50 years, back in the day Shoto residences often had tennis courts and chauffeur-driven sedans waiting in front of the house. In summer, they would invite their neighbors and teachers from local schools to afternoon tea giving everyone a chance to enjoy and admire their meticulously tended gardens. In some ways, this was a continuation of the spirit of Naohiro and Naomitsu, who welcomed unemployed samurai at their tea garden, and donated land to the city. A gentle, if somewhat, exclusive sense of community. Although this open and welcoming spirit lingers in Shoto, especially among its older residents, the influx of celebrities and other well-known public figures who are understandably more private and wary of unwelcome publicity has created an all-too-familiar contradiction. From New York's Greenwich Village to London's Camden Town, the spirit of place that first attracts the nouveau riche often struggles to avoid being exorcised. Even so, 
Shoto remains a tranquil oasis, in the midst of Tokyo's busiest and most crowded urban areas.